So for today, we're going to be looking at the Chroma Cloak set for the Warlocks. If you guys don't know, we've already done the review video and the shader video. They're both right here. And then we've already done the Hunter and Titan video. They're both right here as well. So definitely check them out. Um, review video, we go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And the shader video, we go through um, just all the shaders that I currently own. Specifically, my favorite shaders, because if I go through all of my shaders, it, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So uh, for the Hunter and Titan videos, we basically do what we're going to do in this video, where we go, we get where we get individual pieces from the armor set and then make individual sets from those pieces so yeah a lot of fun definitely stretches my uh fashion muscles i guess you would say because these sets were rough i'm gonna be honest with y'all for the hunters and titans i really had to work for those for the warlocks not so much because i had a lot of inspiration for that like i had a lot of fun not gonna lie like the amount of fun I had with the Warlocks is insane. So Warlocks, you guys had it well, and you guys are literally the reason why I ended up making these sets because I had so much fun with yours. And I was like, I could do it for the Hunter and Titan for sure, which I did do it. It's just, it was not fun. It was not fun at all. It was really hard. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed. So if you do me a favor, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit. But other than that, let's get into it. So first and foremost, we're going to talk about the fact that we're using some bracers, specifically the Akoser Draconum ornament. And this one is wild because I originally, when I originally like saw this uh, ornament, I said, I, this aren't, this ornament is never going to look good. And I kind of ate my words on that because I think it looks amazing with this set, specifically because Burguzian Knight looks really good with this and because, okay, so let me explain it. Um, obviously we're using the Chroma Cloak hood. The Anthemic Invocation tabard with the Flayer's Dominion boots and then the Elect of the Empty Bond. So I like a lot of these combinations, specifically the Burguzi Knight combines all of these into a really good purple, um, which is good because Elect of the Empty Bond does not change colors, which is the color that I was going for, which Burguzi Knight, the glow specifically goes for. So the reason the Okoser Draconum is really good is because it has a blue seal that doesn't change color. Surprisingly enough, the Chroma Cloak set also has a blue steel that does not change color, so it goes really well with that. And overall, I like the like language of this armor set, specifically like the chest piece has a lot of pointy bits to it. The helmet has a lot of pointy bits that are pointing almost down, which kind of makes it even in my head. And then the boots and the chest piece, specifically the cloth of the chest piece looks really good with the boots. So overall, like this is probably one of the coolest sets that I've made for the Warlocks, and I'm really, really happy about it. Let me know what you guys think. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Hateful Wish for the for the Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Now, this one's kind of useless, I guess you would say, because the uh, Skull of Dire Ahamkara is another exotic that needs a rework because, quite frankly, it is pretty trash. Um, it's the same thing I talked about with the Gwyn's Invest for the Hunter video. It's just an exotic that's useless, so I would like to see it being remade into something else. Um, that also just gave me an idea of... A video of exotics that should be reworked but also do fashion for it that'd be cool either way for the arms chroma cloak gloves is what we're using with the chroma cloak bond so yeah the weakest point for this one would be the chroma cloak gloves i think they're just a little too bulky for my for my taste for the chest piece flares dominion for the boots and themic invocation essentially we're reversing what the last set did and then for the shader forbidden wish so forbidden wish specifically because uh, the coloring so specifically the glow the glow has a lot of purple but it also has a lot of bone overall i think the glow or the whole shadering looks really good with this set it's just the fact that i'm not the biggest fan of the chroma cloak gloves and the hateful or not the hateful wish but the skull of diaram kara is just not really realistic because no one's going to use this helmet like no one it's just more of a fashion thing at, for for me at this point either way though i like it it just again like i said i if i wanted to make it like realistic to like what i would use I would probably switch out the Chroma Cloak gloves and then just put a legendary helmet on it and then switch out the arms for literally anything at this point. Um, I think uh, the Ahamkara arms that give you an extra melee would have been good. The poison ones that work well with uh, weapons of, of sorrow would have been good as well. So yeah, there's just a bunch of stuff you couldn't do. It's just that I wanted to use Skull of Dire Ahamkara because it's bones. So let me know what you guys think about this. As for the next set, we're going to be using the Chroma Cloak robes for this one. And for the exotic, we're going to be using the boots of the assembler with the homespun boots. Now, I do think this one's a little weird just because I feel like the homespun ornaments with the Chroma Cloak, as much as I want to say it doesn't look good, it actually looks pretty fucking cool. 
for the Arms Flares Dominion Gloves, for the Helmet Follic Lemon Lar Hood, and then for the Bond Hex Rot Bond. So I guess the only piece, oh wow, I didn't even notice this, but a lot of the pieces are, of this are unobtainable. So the Helmet unobtainable and the Hex Rot Bond is unobtainable. That's not hard. Uh, hex Rot Bond, you could literally switch that out for something else. The helmet, uh, however, you would have to switch out for something else. Um, honestly, something that looks like aquatic would be fine. But for the shadering welded brass is what we're using just because it gives off that re rich purple that I like so much. And yeah, I think this one is really, really cool. This is actually the set that I used for the, oh, which one was it? It was the Flayer's Dominion Gloves. That's what it was. Yeah, I, it was for the D&D set. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll have it up right now. Unfortunately, I can't have like a direct link to it because I've already used all of those for the first four videos that I had in the beginning. But yeah, not hard. Just look up D&D Warlock sets and mine should come up soon. And I think the set looks amazing. I think it looks really, really cool. If I was being nitpicky, I would say switch out the arms for something that looks more like the homespun boot. Like, um, like it it looks organic but not organic i would switch that out but i think it looks fine i think it looks really cool so let me know what you guys think about this one and last but not least we're going to be using the chroma cloak boots with the rosen drone ornament fatal harmony i do think this ornament looks amazing for the helmet shadow broker hood for the arms elect of the empty gloves for the bond ancestral bond um so that way i can turn it off with nebula rose so yeah we're using nebula rose again this is the shader that we used for uh, throughout the whole of these videos just because it turns off the glow specifically the like rainbow glow and it turns off that blue steel that is on the actual armor piece so i overall think this looks really really cool i will say i do think this looks better on females just because for and this is just like a lore thing for me but like the shadow broker hood specifically the helmet yeah i it just looks better with females because that's an Asari. In Asari, there is no male. I mean, to be fair, they're not gendered, but at the same time, they look female. Therefore, in my head, they are female. And yeah, I just, I would personally just, I don't know. It's just such a stupid reason, but that's just my reasoning for it. Let me know what you guys think about it. But overall, I do think this this looks really, really cool. I would switch out the Elect of the Empty Gloves just because I feel like it's not the best piece for this because the, uh, the purple glow in there is a little bit lighter than everything else which is why i would switch it out but i would switch it out for something that looks like organic like kind of like the chess piece um so yeah overall i really really do like this set let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think about all of the sets i do i definitely do think there's some cool pieces here or cool sets i should say and i'm really excited to see what i do later on in the future especially, especially with the solstice set i'm excited to get the solstice set specifically the uh the base look because i already have all the armor with the glow but i want to get it without so that way i can start doing it because it, man a lot of that armor set is so cool but to continue on from the titan video so what i if you guys don't know what i'm talking about it's, it's essentially what i want to make for a video in in the titan video we talked about how we're essentially going to start doing other fashion stuff for other games. And this time I actually do mean it because I'm going to go in the game and just make a video without any preparation. Maybe like some guidelines, but that's it. Um, for this one, we're going to talk about the big video that I've been wanting to do since like fucking three years. And it's just me being like empty headed and ADHD. So basically this video, I want to make a comparison to all of the games that I currently play, which is going to be Destiny 2 uh world world of war yeah world of warcraft final fantasy 14 and warframe all like and i want to specifically compare the fashion and we're going to go through like the new player experience um some of the negatives or positives that the fashion has and basically just make that into a fat video and then maybe later um cut it into like individual pieces if that for people who want to see individuals so that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I am working on a bunch of content. I explained this in the Titan and Hunter video. So if you guys want to see what I'm working on, check those videos out. But yeah, don't think I'm I'm not doing content. It's just I kind of burnt myself out from Destiny 2, specifically like all of the negative stuff that has been coming out from Bungie just really kind of burned me out, which made me want to play other stuff, specifically like I can actually show you guys real quick. Um, so we're gonna play that on my second channel, hopefully, if my second channel starts to actually be a thing but yeah i've been playing abiotic factor um a bunch of i just got a bunch of games but these are not what i was doing tekken 8 which is i want to start covering on my second channel for sure because i haven't played the story mode because i want to do it for the main channel i bought 76 because i was bored 
Warframe and then Titanfall 2 I played a bit of that as well so there's I was just playing other stuff um and there's a bunch of stuff that I want to cover as well not even on this channel but the second channel as well like Tekken 8 like I said Street Fighter 6 I, which is what I want to do as well so there's a bunch of stuff that I want to cover but let me know what you guys think I appreciate y'all be safe I'll see you guys later